If you're watching this video, you're watching it because you have a problem with aiming, you have a problem with getting the right controller settings, and you want to make sure that when you get into the game, you're getting more kills and not having to worry about your settings. If you watch this video to the T and put every setting that I'm going to mention here into fruition, you're going to notice that not only do you not only have to not worry about your controller anymore, but you're going to be getting a lot of more kills and doing more better in the game. And you kind of just worry on helping you with your KD, which I'm also going to have videos on how to do that. But with that being said, let's dive into the settings and talk about what you need to change. So the first thing, guys, here I want to recommend, guys, is going to the controller vibration. There's going to be set on to on on default. Turn that off. The problem we have with the controller vibration is when people are shooting you, the controller vibrates and that causes your shot to be a little bit off. And that is something you want to avoid. One of the most important things you want to fix here on your controller, guys, is a dead zone input this is extremely important a lot of people talk about this but they don't explain it how to adjust it correctly i'm going to tell you guys exactly what you need to do so they added this brand new thing to call of duty called dead zone test you're able to toggle it off and on and basically what i would recommend to do with this test is go to your left stick and bring that all the way down to zero and then go to your right uh your right stick and bring that all the way down to zero as well all right that's pretty much setting your things to default you're going to leave it there and you're going to turn this back on. So you're going to work on each stick per second. So you're going to work on the left first and then on the right second. Okay. So for the left stick, the way you know you're getting controller drift, if you notice when I move that down on the bottom where it says left stick, it says horizontal axis and vertical axis. That's letting you have a negative two, a negative one in your stick drift. So we have stick drift. Basically what we want to achieve is we want to make sure this, when we move our stick, it reads zero, 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 zero. So if I do this, the way I would recommend is going here and always going up off of two, uh, two, you know, getting two. So every time you do it, two increments of two. So we're going to turn this back on. And I personally already know this, but I'm still going to get a stick drift if I move up. So if I move up, I'm still getting stick drift. Right? You notice right there, I'm getting a one and a three. If I move right, my right is actually, my right and left is actually pretty solid. Not extremely solid, but I know it's actually pretty good. So as you guys know, it's still stick drift right there. So we're going to go back on here and increment of two again. And we're just keep doing that until we get it to give us zero zero and one is going to probably land first before the other one so your left and right might probably get fixed first then you're up or down so you're just going to have to play with this and keep going back and forth back and forth me personally i know that if i set this to eight that is the perfect number so when i come back in here you're going to notice that i no longer have stick drift it is actually perfect right there the uh it's not stick drifting everything is negative zero everything is zero zero basically if i go up if i go down go left if i go left if i go right if i go right now sometimes you cannot fix this by doing this and that means you just need to get into your controller and if you want to upgrade your controller i highly recommend you take advantage right now of getting the xbox elite controller 2 for 80 dollars yes guys you can't get this promo anywhere else the way you want to do it is go to my tiktok i'm gonna leave a link down below in the description click on either one my latest video or you could click on once you land on my tiktok place click on showcase and that's going to give you an option to purchase the xbox elite controller with a 30 percent off promo code highly recommend you guys do that like right now if you need a controller or you're trying to upgrade or trying to get something for your person for christmas definitely recommend you pick it up so once we did the left stick guys we're going to go and go into the right stick all right so we're just going to go here to the right stick and we're going to do the same thing I'm going to increment that to eight because I know that's kind of like my default value. But I'm going to actually leave this in four because I know my controller already. So if you turn this on, you're going to notice that if I go left, if I go right, I'm still getting a little bit of stick drift here. Just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit because that's on four. We're going to keep doing it one more time just to make sure we're not getting anything. So four seems pretty solid, but as you notice, it's still a little bit more stick drift. So we're going to do here, go up to six and turn it back on and you're going to notice that that is automatically solved so that's how you solve the strict drift problem that i'm pretty sure anybody that has a controller has okay so what you want to do is you're almost always going to match your controller so what i always do is i like to leave it at eight and that just pretty much solves everything that has to do with my controller from my left and right uh you know analog stick so once that's done we're going to go ahead and cancel that out and we're pretty much done with the dead zone and we're pretty much done with the first tab, which is the controller. Now it's time to talk about the aiming. Now for horizontal stick and vertical stick, I like to leave these defaults. And I'm going to give you a recommendation based on you. Basically, the number I want to do is between 5 and 7. I think that's an ideal number if you're playing multiplayer, if you're playing Warzone, if you're playing zombies. A lot of you guys like to max it out. Maxing it out doesn't make you better. Or bringing it lower doesn't make you better. It's just your personal preference. You're going to want to play with this. 
but I believe the sweet spot for any FPS is definitely between 5 and 7. That is what you want to play with. Some people like to have the vertical lower than their horizontal, but I like to leave it at 5. Now, what you want to change is the ADS sensitivity multiplier. This is going to be extremely important, especially when you're trying to land those mid shots. And that is where you want to pay close attention to because you want to make sure that this is going to be defaulted at 1. So you want to make sure you play with this. The sweet number for this is between uh, 0 0.75 and 0 0.85. I personally think 7.5 gives you a more precise aim. But if you want to start off and test the waters, I would recommend you bump this up to 8 and then either bump it down or bump it up. If you're feeling that you're missing your shots when you're aiming a little bit further and you're not able to pinpoint on the player, then you're going to want to make sure you decrease it. If you feel like you you are it's too slow, you want to increment it. Okay, that's basically what you want to do. Uh, I personally like 7.5, but I would recommend leaving it at 8 and then playing going up or going down. Not going lower than 7.5 and not going higher than 8 uh, than 85. Okay, that's what I would recommend. Pretty much your uh, sensitivity multiplier, you can leave it the way you want. Uh, so here we have with all these different multipliers, you're going to just leave it as it is. You're going to leave that default and don't have to worry about this. One thing I do want to recommend I believe this comes turned off. You're going to want to make sure you turn on the aim assist. Now, one important thing that people are going to tell you guys is that you're going to want to change this to Black Ops. You don't. You want to leave it at default. The reason why you want to leave this at default, then it's going to give you the highest amount of aim assist. And if you're playing on controller, you want to get that aim assist. Okay. Now, some of you guys are probably used to the Black Ops because you probably changed that. And a lot of people told you to change that in Modern Warfare 2. They just never told you that this got a nerf. And now default is the best way to go. Now, this could change during updates. So we're going to be updating these videos uh, periodically if we're getting any updates. But default is the way to go. If you want the highest aim assist, that is where you want to be. And, and that's pretty much what you want to leave as far as the gaming. Now, let's go to the final tab, which is the gameplay tab. And we're going to change a couple things that are going to make our stuff really important. So I believe on this one, this one comes us off. You're going to want to turn this to automatic or tactical sprint. What this is going to allow you to do. As soon as you move your button forward, you're going to tactical sprint and this is going to make your movement so much smoother. Apart from that, guys, you want to make sure you turn all this stuff like automatic moving forward. You want to take that off. Uh, ground mounting, you want to make sure, I believe this is set to on. And you see this guy jumping over this uh, pillar here. He probably died doing that. So you want to make sure you're not that guy. You want to make sure you turn that off. Uh, automatic airborne mounting off, off. And this is where things become very important because I know everybody's like hive, hive, pipe for the slide canceling. But this default comes to tap to slide. You want to avoid that. Now, remember, the reason why we have this here is because we have two mechanics with this button behavior that we have. We have the tap slide and the tap dive. So we're doing two things with this button. So basically what this is going to do, it's only going to allow us to slide. And if you want to dive, you're going to have to go ahead and you know pretty much disable it. You disable diving. Now, it's extremely important that this is going to change when Warzone comes out because you're definitely going to want to dive in Warzone. But as of right now, you're only playing multiplayer. So slide only should be ideal for you guys. You don't have to worry about diving. Now, there is a way to have the slide and have the dive at the same time by keeping this default. And that is by having the right controller. Once again, I hate to plug it in. Pick yourself up uh, an Xbox Elite controller and you're actually able to map that button to the elite controller which i'll have a separate video just for the elite controller settings to be able to use the slide only and use the dive only as well in one button press so it's pretty awesome but you want to put this to slide only when warzone comes out i'll make a different video to give you guys a better update uh plunge into underwater you want to make sure you set this to free i believe it's on trigger uh trigger uh, it gets triggered by sprinting you just want to set it free it makes it a lot easier uh parachute auto deploy you want to make sure that you always set this to off uh right now we don't need it but when Warzone comes up, you're probably going to have that uh, off as well. And last but not least, guys, you want to make sure that you do make this change right now, which is the weapon mount exit delay. You're going to have this, I believe it's on medium or off. You want to make sure this is instant. The reason why you want to make sure this is instant because when you aim your weapon and you're kind of, you know, using that as a mount, when you get off the weapon, you want to make sure it snaps really fast and gets off instantly. So you want to make sure you set that uh, that uh, as instant. Uh, basically out of all that you're pretty much pretty much set and leaving everything as default and you should be good to go make sure you put these controller settings to use so when you get into the game that's the first thing you change and you're ready to dominate a call of duty and whether you're playing zombies whether you're playing uh, you know multiplayer or whether you're just messing around with your friends you have these settings and you're going to be perfectly set once again if you need to pick yourself a controller head on over to our tiktok link is down below pick yourself the controller for the cheapest price you'll probably find on the internet 80 bucks 
do it right now. And don't forget, for all things Modern Warfare 3, keep it locked on this channel, and I'll talk to you guys later.